Wake up, it's a beautiful day. Wake up, it's a beautiful day. Wake up, it's a beautiful day. Hi, Bo Bakers. Besides dessert, breakfast is another important meal of the day. So by popular demand, I'm going to make your life even easier and take breakfast to a whole other level with microwave mug breakfasts. So let's get microwaving. Just like all of my previous mug cake videos, I'm gonna give you tips throughout to have successful mug breakfasts every time. And as always, my recipes can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. Our first breakfast in a mug is a light and fluffy blueberry muffin. We're gonna start out in a microwavable mug. Add in your milk and flavorless oil and then mix these two together. I'm using vegetable oil, but you can use any flavorless oil you like. To this, we're going to add in our flour, sugar, baking powder, and baking soda, and then gently mix together. Just like with all of my mug cakes, just mix until well combined. If you mix them a little bit too much, they'll end up kind of tough. Obviously, a very important ingredient in our muffins is some lovely blueberries. I'm using frozen, but you can use fresh. If you're not the biggest fan of blueberries, you can use any other fruit that you like. Once you've added in your blueberries, don't mix them around too much because you don't want the colour to bleed. Now every good muffin has a little bit of streusel on top, so that's our next step. In a bowl, add in your butter, flour, sugar and some vanilla extract and combine them until they resemble breadcrumbs. For best results, use a fork to blend in your butter so you get those lovely breadcrumbs. When your streusel is ready, just scatter it on top of your muffin. Our little blueberry muffin is ready for the microwave. So the timing that I'm giving is based on my microwave, which is 1200 watts. So check your microwave because you might need to use less or more time. Our first breakfast in a mug is done and it looks delicious. So if you find at this point that your mug cake is a little bit tough, it means that you over microwaved it. So I suggest keeping a close eye on it while it's in there. And in case you didn't notice, this recipe is actually egg free, which means even more people can enjoy it. This blueberry muffin is delicious and doesn't need a whole lot else. So we're just gonna add a little bit of icing sugar on top. This tastes so good and it's light and fluffy. But breakfast does not stop at just muffins, but let's go on to our next recipe. Our next breakfast in a mug is a lovely little cinnamon roll. Now this is definitely more of a cake than it is a dough, but the combination of flavors all together make it taste just like a cinnamon roll. In a microwaveable mug, add in some oil, milk, and applesauce, and then mix well together. So this is another egg-free recipe and that's why we're using applesauce. But I know applesauce is not readily available in a lot of countries, so you can also use banana because I tried it the other day and it came out perfect. To this, we're going to add in our flour, sugar, cinnamon, baking powder, and salt, and then gently mix all these ingredients together. I use oil in mug cakes because it keeps the cake lovely and moist, and the applesauce will do the same thing. Our cinnamon roll mug cake is ready for the microwave. Now I get a lot of questions, can you bake these in an oven? And the answer is yes. Bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius, for in and around 10 minutes. But just like the microwave, keep a close eye on them so they don't overcook. Our mug cake is done and it smells fantastic, lovely and warm and spicy. So you're probably thinking this looks just like a little cinnamon cake right now, but our next step is gonna transform it even more into a cinnamon roll. No cinnamon roll would be complete without some cream cheese frosting on top. And of course, an extra dusting of cinnamon. Now you can make a cinnamon roll quickly and any time of the day. Just like I said, this has everything you love about a cinnamon roll, but in a mug cake. But we can't stop here, so let's move on to our next recipe. Mm. So I've got some very exciting news that I need your help with. We are submitting Bigger Boulder Baking for a Streamy Award. The Streamy Awards celebrate your favorite online videos and creators, and we would really love your help to get nominated. Just click on the link below, select channel, series, or show, then put Gemma Stafford. Select the food category, add your name, email, and then submit. And I would just like to say a heartfelt thank you from myself and Kevin for all of your fantastic support on our channel. I'm really glad you like our videos. Our next breakfast in a mug is one of my favorites because the ingredients are something you nearly always have at home. It is less mess, it's faster, and that is French toast in a mug. Just like before, we're gonna start out in a microwaveable mug. Add in your egg, milk, vanilla extract and maple syrup and then mix these ingredients well together. So I'm using maple syrup because you would normally have it with French toast but if you don't have any you can use honey or any kind of sugar you would like. A very important ingredient in our French toast is sliced cubed bread and I also buttered it to make it nice and rich. Now I'm using challah but you can use any kind of bread that you like and just a little tip if you use leftover croissants it is unreal. Add in all of your bread and then mix it well together until it's nice and wet. 
So what we have here is a vanilla French toast. At this point, you can add in any of your favorite flavors or ingredients that you like. I'm adding in chocolate chips to make a lovely chocolate French toast. As you can see, I've got some nice big chunks of chocolate in there because when they melt, it's all ooey gooey chocolate. Our French toast is ready to go. Now here's a little tip. If you want to have French toast first thing in the morning, you can always make it the night before to this very point, put it in the fridge, and then the next morning you have lovely hot French toast. And our French toast is done. Not only does this look fantastic, it smells divine. I am so glad I added in those rich chocolate chips. If you're gonna have chocolate French toast for breakfast, you may as well go all out and pipe on some freshly whipped cream and top it off with some grated chocolate. This French toast has to be my favorite, but if you would like another recipe, then head over to biggerbolderbaking.com where I posted a bonus video of an apple pie oatmeal made in a mug. With all these microwave breakfasts, you'll have something wonderful to wake up to every morning. Who doesn't want that for breakfast? If you like these breakfasts in a mug, then please share this video with a friend. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you back here again next Thursday for more Bigger Bolder Baking.